Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com. And it came to my attention today that I never taught you guys on any of my um, appliance videos, specifically fixed bite plate videos, how to clean a fixed bite plate. So I wanted to simulate how you can clean one the expensive way and the cheap way. Um, the expensive way works a lot better, but because I don't necessarily want to take my camera, <laughs> my iPhone in the shower, I'm going to do the cheap way. Um, but you can get the idea. So anyways, just a friendly reminder, a fixed bite plate is an acrylic block that's mounted on your braces, on your back teeth braces. Um, as you can see here, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Um, I was simulating a patient eating food. This is actually ketchup. Nice, because it's a clear fixed bite plate, okay? So it's glued on there with tooth glue. So you can't take it off like I just did. But when you eat, it is flush against the teeth. It is flush against the palate. So sometimes food can get trapped under there. Easiest way, honestly, to get it out is just to rinse. But if you want something a little more powerful, you can get a water pick. There are plug-in water picks. I have other videos on them. You can just search within my channel and it will show up how to use one. Um, there are also cordless. I highly recommend the cordless one, even though you have to keep it charged, because you can take it in the shower. Um, and you can use it while you're in the shower and it makes way less mess. They make a huge, huge mess at the sink. Um, trust me, I've had them. <laughs> Unfortunately, my cordless water pick, one of my children, um, who was supposed to be using it, decided to leave the water in it and it got all moldy. So we had to throw it away. So one thing you don't do, you have to make sure you dry it out and everything like that in between use. But anyways, if you want a cheap version, you can ask your dentist for a monojet syringe. These are just used, um, sometimes they have a tip on them. I don't have the tip. So it's better if you have the tip, but I don't have one. So um, you get a little more pressure if you use the tip. But you can get this from any dentist should have them. Um, I'm sure you can order them from Amazon or eBay too. It's called a monojet. This one is 10 milliliters. They make smaller ones. They make bigger ones. This one's easy to use because you can easily just use it in your hand and just you know, fill it up and then push the plunger and the water shoots out. But if you have the tip on it, it works better. But I'm just going to simulate what it looks like. So you just get up there nice and close. Obviously, you're going to have to go from the front because you're going to have your mouth open and just blast it. So you can kind of see how well that worked. Hang on, I'm going to fill it back up and you're going to see me get it all out. Hang on. All right. Going to blast it again. Very satisfying, isn't it? So you can see if I can blast this pretty easily with just a couple goes of the monojet, you can do this. You can clean your bite plate, no problem. Less than 30 seconds, you're sitting right at a sink. You just gotta go under it, see that, etc. So you get the idea. So if I can clean it, you can clean it. It's not that hard to keep it clean. In theory, you could also potentially run a floss threader under. So like this, can you see this? You can run a floss thread. It depends on how tight it is contact, but usually you can run a floss, whoops, I just debonded it, but <laughs> you can run a, a floss threader under sometimes as well, but sometimes you're gonna dislodge it if you do that. So I recommend just using the Monojet. That'll keep it clean, sanitary, and fresh. You gotta do that every time you eat. So it might be a little tricky at school, but at school they can just take their water bottle, take it into the restroom, swish, 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 and spit in the toilet. It's honestly the best way to do it. So. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks so much.